Hello folks, my name is Dylan and in this video I'm going to show you the benefits of using the Move Topological Brush compared to the Move Brush in ZBrush 4 or 6. I'll be working on the head from the Dawn model which can be downloaded absolutely free from HiveWire3D.com. As you can see the head has underlying geometry such as teeth and gums and the object of this exercise is to try and open the lips, make a parting in the lips. The head is divided into polygroups and you can see here that the lips have their own polygroups and so do the parts on the inside of the mouth. first attempt will be using the move brush and masking to try and part the lips. Now this is the standard move brush I'm going to try first. I'm masking the upper lip as tight as I can to the lower one so that I can pull the lower lip down. Because the two lips are very close together, this kind of makes this a lost cause, as you can see. Now this is an extreme example, I can sh I'm sure I could get it closer if I masked a little bit tighter and more precisely, but because the two lips are touching one another, it's almost impossible to get a clean mask. Now that's not the only problem. If I hide the lips to have a look at the teeth and gums underneath, you can see that the move brush has actually moved the teeth down as well. It's stretched them down and hasn't respected the fact that the teeth and gums are a separate polygroup or separate polygroups to the lips. Now I could have masked the teeth and gums, but in the next part of the video I'm going to show you a different way to get the job done. OK, I've reloaded the head, ready for a fresh bite at the cherry, and as you can see, everything is unmolested at the moment. The hide part button on uncustomized interfaces of ZBrush is found in the visibility palette on the right. This time I will try parting the lips using the Move Topological Brush. The move topological brush will only affect the geometry it's directly working on even if the geometry has the same polygroups. And you can see here that the lips, upper and lower lips, even though they're the same polygroup, the move topological brush is having no problem finding the join and moving the lips independently of one another. In a few moments I'll hide the face parts and just work on the teeth. To hide a polygroup in ZBrush, all I need to do is hold Shift and Control, click on the part and mask it. Then invert the mask, Control I, and click Hide Part. And to hide further parts, keep Control and Shift clicked. And just click on these parts, the face, the ears, eyelashes, lacrimals, and get rid of the, of the bag. And now we just have the gums and teeth visible. Still using the move topological brush, you can see that it only affects the item it's working on, even though it's overlapping onto other teeth.
the brush is respecting the fact that the teeth are individual pieces of geometry even though they're part of the same polygroup. Reducing the draw size of this brush down to one allows you to move individual pieces of geometry very easily. Simple as that and sometimes this is much simpler than using the transpose tools. I can just click and drag them out where I want. Now isn't that a handy tip? Almost worth ensuring a 7 minute video just for that tip alone. To view the back of the geometry all I need to do is click double. Now I'm using a custom interface so I have the double fairly easy to get to. If you want it you will find it in display properties down here and all you need to do is toggle double on and off giving it a quick rub of the smooth brush and subdividing a couple of times to see what it looks like I think that's about all I have for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Gurumaha Kutaga Slant.